Hi, it's Kirsty from Lloyd Sewing and this is how you can use the Brother My Snap app to send designs across to your design centre. So we have two different options within the app for the design centre and I'm going to use the first one is Snap Capture with a Frame for Pattern Editing. So I have a line drawing here that I have drawn out myself and what I'm going to do is just place that within the frame in order to capture it. Now this design, once it's been converted, would fit in a smaller hoop. I'm only using this hoop to start with because it's got these stickers along the top and the bottom there that are compatible with the Snap app. But you could stitch the design out in any frame that it will fit into afterwards. So I'll come back to the app on my phone. I'm going to select the snap capture with frame and it tells me to hold the smart device parallel to the embroidery frame. I'll press OK. And what I'm going to do now is hold that over my frame for three seconds. It will automatically capture my drawing and then I press send to the machine. and it will say that it has been sent to my design centre. And that's all we need the app for at this point. So I'm now back over at my machine and I'm going to go into my design centre. And the B image that we sent over was a line drawing. So I'm going to select line. And I have sent it over wirelessly via the app. So I select the wireless button and it will be the top one because that was the last image that I sent over. So you can see that it does save the other images that you've sent previously. So if you need to go back and access any of them, you can do. But I'll select the top one and in this box here, once it's loaded, it will show me a preview of that and it tells you that it's been done in easy mode as well. You set that design And then we can use the arrows to frame the image. Now it will automatically frame it down as much as it can. It will recognise maybe what you don't want in the background there. But you can edit that yourself. So I just use the red arrows to bring them in and frame the image. OK. And then press OK and that is what it's converted. So it's a really crisp, clear image there. If uh, I get my original drawing and just hold that up, you can see that it has picked everything up, even to the point that I've got a little mark on the paper here and it's even picked that up, but I'll be able to use the eraser tool to get rid of that with no problem at all. So once you're happy with what it's converted, you then press set and along the bottom here now you've got a slider bar so you can see the design and also the original image that the uh, app captured and then go between the two. So if there was any areas that it's missed out and you need to retrace over you can do that or if we just go to the converted image itself I can zoom in and just see if there's any areas that I need to get rid of. So I know that little dot there, I use the eraser tool, go on the smallest option and just use my stylus pen to rub that out. Okay, now everything else looks pretty good there. So I'll zoom back out, press next and this is now our stitch settings page. Now the design centre automatically defaults Anything that you uh, send over, it will default it to be a satin stitch in black. Now, this design I know is going to be too fine to be suitable for a satin stitch because the satin stitch is just going to look too chunky. But I want to change all of the lines to a running triple stitch. So I'm going to press the link button here or the chain button. And what that will do is link everything together that's of the same property. And then 
I can select the stitch style and change it to the one I want and press OK. And now when I do a preview, I have my converted design with all of the stitch information, including the stitch counts, the stitch time, the colours, obviously it's a line drawing, so we've only got the one colour there. And I get the size of the design as well. So even though I captured it in the 9.5 by 14 inch hoop, I can see there that it would actually fit in an 8 by 8 inch hoop. So if you had one that size, you'd be able to use that. Once you're happy with that design, you press set, OK. And it will automatically take that through to your embroidery. I can remove the background by pressing that button there and we're just left with our embroidery design. And this is how it's stitched out.